Sometimes you're just really pissed off. Hello lovely people of YouTube and welcome back to Mark on Life. Thank you for everybody that watched last week's episode of Real Perspectives, which was Guardians of the Canopy. Um, even I'm pleased with that uh, title, which was my little homage to Guardians of the Galaxy. Which, if you haven't seen the film, I saw it last week and it was fantastic. Uh, but I'll mention that again later. If you haven't seen the episode yet, I will put a link in the description below. So you can go and check it out. And then you can go and check out all the other episodes that you haven't seen too. This week I want to talk about something that I usually absolutely wouldn't. And that is being a bit sad. Um, I don't really suffer from depression or anything like that. I have had... You know, a few things over my years of times when I would consider myself a bit blue or low or whatever it is. But I don't really think I've ever, ever had any significant times in my life that I would consider the real depression or clinical depression or anything like that. And for that, I consider myself um, very fortunate. But I had recently a couple of days that were a bit shit. Um... I know where they came from or where they stemmed from. I had something in my career which was a bit of a setback. And although I, you know, theoretically, philosophically, I can see the good side of it. At the time, it just really hit me and it sucked. And then from there, you, you probably start to be a bit unproductive for a while. And so it starts to be a little bit of a downward spiral you know because when setbacks happen I think the side effect of that is that it makes you see the reality of your situation and sometimes the reality of your situation isn't all that fun maybe it's never fun and it has to be that way because that's the way your industry is the acting industry is really really difficult it's never usually a particularly fun situation it's a struggle but it's a struggle that we chose and so sort of looking at the stark reality faced with that setback was not a fun time and so I had 48 hours of being really really low just inconsolable in a sense just didn't want to talk wasn't angry or anything like that just a bit just low is the best way to to, to describe it and I'm not I'm not usually one who will talk about this stuff. I'm not sort of a mega stoic who hides all my emotions. I just don't feel the need to tell most people. I'm not someone who will put this stuff out on social media. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just don't get anything from it. It doesn't help me personally. Um, I tend to be very sort of strong-minded and can deal with my emotions very well. So it, it, it doesn't tend to happen to me often. But on this occasion, it sort of did. And so I just wanted to talk about it because for someone who doesn't deal with that often, this is how it happened for me. Um, the first thing that I would say was important in getting past it was not trying to get past it. Not trying to push through it and force myself to, to do anything, you know, fantastic or, or happy. No, no. Just to wallow. To allow yourself to wallow, even for a little while, just for an evening. Just, you know, hopefully somebody around you can just understand that that's what you need to do. You need to feel shit. You need to wallow, whatever it might be. And so that's what I did. I just sat there in bed, just feeling sorry for myself. Because that's what I had to do. In the, the next few days, there were things that certainly helped the process, I think. One of them was work. I had to go to work. Well, I could have cancelled, but I didn't want to cancel because money. Um, and my work, um, for those who don't know, I also, when I'm not acting, teach people um, uh, confidence in social interactions, which is ironic, um, considering I wasn't feeling great. And so it forced me to be at my best because somebody else is paying for my time. And so I've got to be at my absolute best. I've got to be the paragon of, of social confidence, which is probably quite handy. Even though I wasn't necessarily feeling it, it's handy to be able to pull that out of the bag when you need it. Second thing was exercise. 
Um, I don't do all the exercises that I used to. I don't go to the gym that I pay for, which I really should. Um, but I do go running. And I find that quite helpful just for clearing your head and um, getting getting yourself out of, out of your head for a little bit is, is, is really handy. The power of exercise, we know it very well. In fact, right now I'm going to give a shout out to um, another YouTuber, uh, Emily Hartridge, who I will link her channel below, who is a fantastic YouTuber, does a lot of sort of comedy um, sketches like 10 Reasons Why, but also has recently done quite a lot of videos on um, anxiety, which she has suffered from. And the, the latest video was one about um, exercise, the power of boxing and how that has really helped her um, get through it. Very, very important thing, can be very, very helpful. I'll link the video uh, in the description as well. So please go over and subscribe to her channel. And the last thing was um, things that you enjoy. So very, very simple stuff. For me, it would be watching comedy. Um, I went to, as I say, go and see Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Um, and that it's fantastic. I'm not going to give any spoilers away, don't worry. But it's brilliant. You know, credit to James Gunn and everybody involved. I loved it. Um, but I felt like shit going in. Even in the in the, the sort of lounge in the, the cinema, I still felt like crap. You know, I was just sitting there on the seat, ready to go in, just like... <sighs> really not in a great mood. Um, even thinking things like... I have an uh, an Odeon Unlimited card, so I was like, well, I can go again. If I'm not really paying attention to that, I'll just go again. <laughs> Whatever. Not exactly a great state of mind. But I went in, sat down, and, um, and also, to make matters worse, the cinema that I was in was not raked. You know what I mean? The seating wasn't raked, so... We were all completely flat. So people two or three rows in front of me, I couldn't see over their head. So I'm already becoming a little bit more enraged. So it's not good. But luckily, the film was brilliant. And that was so nice. Because it was genuinely funny. Genuinely just a really entertaining thing to watch. And for those few hours, I couldn't not laugh. I couldn't not smile. I couldn't not enjoy it. Because it was really, really good. Now... That's not to say that afterwards I came out thinking, way, and it's all gone. No. Or when, I, when I came out of the cinema, I did go a little bit back down to where I was. But it definitely had an effect. And after that, watching a few things, you know, a few little comedy shows on TV, some old school stuff like Blackadder or whatever, and then a little bit of work, you know, writing the next episode. And very slowly, over the next couple of days, it just lifted. Like the weather, the cloud just lifted. And I think, I think from now on, if that happens again, I'll just have to have a bit of faith that it will. The problems are still there, don't get me wrong. The realities of the acting business, the struggles, the this, the that, they're still there. But then they've always been there. I've been doing this for 12 years. They, they, they never weren't there. You know what I mean? So faith that one... Have have time to wallow. Allow yourself to feel it. You know, you don't have to force yourself to break out. Wallow for a bit. Two, exercise. I know it's a cliche, but it definitely helps. And three, things that you like. Books, games, films, TV, whatever it might be. Songs that you enjoy. And um, work as well. Sorry, there's four. And hopefully slowly it will lift you out because it has me and now i'm back to who i normally am which is cool so that's about it for today what about you have you ever felt these very low times and what do you do what have you done to break yourself out of it um next week there'll be another vlog and then the week after that will be uh, another episode of real perspectives you can find me on all the social media platforms like instagram and twitter it's mark joseph actor on most of them Links are in the description as well. Um, if you haven't seen the uh, previous episodes, then just click sort of here and uh, it will take you straight to them. Anyway, from me, Mark on Life, I'll speak to you soon.